Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I will be sharing my May TBR list. Some of the books that I will be sharing in today's video, some of you may recognize from my last bookstore vlog, but some are brand new that I, I don't think I've mentioned it before on my channel that I wanted to read them, or maybe I have, I don't know. These videos start to blend in a little bit for me. With that being said, let's just dive right in. Let's start with the book that should be no surprise to you guys, and this is A Court of Mist and Fury by Sarah J. Matt. I absolutely fell in love with A Court of Thorns and Roses and I'm super excited to start the second book. As many of you know, this is my first like fantasy read and I've really been enjoying it so far. This one basically follows the same characters from the first one. It follows Feyre, basically deals with the aftermath of everything that she had to do and everything that she went through at the end of the first book. I'm super curious to see how this one plays out. I have the first one right here and the second one is definitely thicker. I was actually able to read A Court of Thorns and Roses in one day. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do that with this book, but I'm definitely going to try. Maybe read it in like two or three days. I will be filming a reading vlog featuring this book, so definitely stay tuned for that. I'm hoping to have it by the end of this week, maybe the weekend. I'm not quite sure when I'll have time to sit down and read this big boy, but I will definitely read it. Literally all of you have told me that I'm in for a surprise with this book and that I'm not going to to love the two main characters, Feyre and Tamlin, as much as I loved them in the first book, which terrifies me because I fell in love with Tamlin, Feyre as well. But like, are they not going to make it? Are they going to break up? I don't know. Next up, we have Walking Disaster by Jamie McGuire. I actually read the first book in the series, Beautiful Disaster, last month, and I absolutely loved it. This book basically follows the same main characters as the first book, Abby and Travis, but this book is completely from Travis's point of view. He's kind of just retelling the whole relationship, how it started, all of their problems, how it ended, things like that from his perspective. I actually started reading it already. I'm on page 84. So far, I haven't really learned anything new that's like mind-blowing. I did learn a couple different things, mainly his discussions with their friend group that Abby had no idea was taking place in the first book. But so far, I haven't really learned anything like enormous that would change my perspective on the relationship or anything like that but I still really enjoy it and the queen herself Colleen Hoover wrote a review and it basically says once you get inside Travis Madoc's head you won't want to leave when I saw her review I was like of course I had to pick this up and read it. If you haven't read the first book in the series, Beautiful Disaster, I definitely recommend it if you're into like bad boy, I hate everyone but you type of romance because this is very much that. Travis is a bad boy who really doesn't like anyone. He's basically a player and then you have Abby who turns his world upside down. He falls so deeply in love with her to the point where it can be a little toxic but he definitely did a lot of growing up in the first book which is really nice and I'm excited to read from his perspective the growing up that he had to do in order to win Abby back and the cover is absolutely stunning. I don't know why but lately I've been having an obsession with the blue butterfly emoji and the cover definitely gives me that vibe and then there's a butterfly on the back and on the side and I just think it's so cute. The next book that I want to read is They Both Die at the End by Adam Silvera. I picked this book up a few weeks ago, maybe like a month and a half, maybe two months ago time flies, but I just never got around to reading it. This book follows two strangers who are set to die within 24 hours. They meet through an app and they decide that they want to go on one final adventure together before they die. I'm assuming that they do die at the end. <laughs> hence the title. I mean, it sounds like a really good book and I've heard great things about it. So I definitely want to give it a shot and read it this month. Let's see how that goes because I've been holding on to that for a while. But you know when you have other books that keep coming out or keep popping up and you're just like, oh, I want to read that one instead. That's what keeps happening to me. I keep putting this one in the back burner, but this month I am determined to read it. The next book that I want to read this month is The Legacy by L. Kennedy. This is the final book in the off-campus series. Series, and I'm so sad about that because I absolutely love this series. My favorite book in the off-campus series is definitely the first one, The Deal, but I still really enjoyed all of them for different reasons. This book follows all the couples from the first four books and it's basically four years, no, three years 
after graduation and they're trying to navigate real life while still holding on to their relationship and I'm really excited to see what everyone's up to. I've heard some conflicting reviews on this book. Some people absolutely loved it and thought it was a good book to wrap up the series. I've read some other reviews where people think that it was a pointless book where they didn't really learn anything new. I don't know what to expect. I'm literally going into this book with zero expectations and hopefully it's good and nothing sucks like falling in love with a series and then the final book just is horrible and then it ruins the whole series for you. It's like come on really? My favorite couple Garrett and Hannah I hope they pull through. They better pull through. They better stick together because I'm going to be really upset if they end up breaking up. So the next book that I want to read this May is The Silent Patient. This is by Alex Michaelates. I don't know. I'm so sorry. I suck at pronouncing names, specifically last names. Bear with me. This one basically follows a woman who seems to have a perfect life, but one night her husband comes home from work and she shoots him and kills him. She refuses to say why she shot him. She actually refuses to talk at all, so she is named the silent patient. A criminal psychotherapist, Theo, is captivated by the silent patient, the woman, her story, and the murder, and all of that, so he sets out to find out the truth regarding what happened that night. I know that this book is going to throw me in for a loop and so many of you guys commented on my last bookstore vlog that you absolutely love this book which makes me even more excited to dive into it and see where it takes me. And I was taking a picture of the book for my thumbnail and I didn't realize that the cover actually has a woman on it. Eyes are right there, nose, her lips and obviously there's a slash where her mouth is because she doesn't talk. Like, how creative is that? It took me holding it in front of my face and taking a picture for me to actually notice that there was a female face on this cover. That made me excited to read the book a lot more. I just love a good cover. Looking forward to this book so much. Can't wait to read it. I think I'm going to love it because you guys haven't let me down yet with your book recommendations. And I feel like this one is definitely going to be a good read. Those are all the books that I currently have. And then the next couple books that I'm going to talk about, I actually am still waiting on them to get delivered. So so, so sorry about that. Hopefully they are here soon. The first two books that I'm waiting on to get delivered are actually the second book and the third book in the Selection series. So I already finished book one in the series, which is called The Selection by Kiera Cass. And I think there's five more books in the series. I bought The Elite, which is book two, and The One, which is book three. If you haven't read The Selection, it basically follows America Singer. She is forced to enter a competition well forced by her mother and it's basically a competition to win the heart of their country's prince prince maxon america is actually in love with another guy but he is a cast below her at first america is really reluctant and she's like i don't want to do this i'm obviously in love with someone else but at the end of the day she ends up entering the competition she ends up being selected through the course of the competition she ends up developing feelings for the prince but she still thinks that she's in love with the guy that she left behind i'm not going to lie i found the first 100 pages of this book to be extremely boring it was so slow but it definitely picked up once the main character america actually met prince maxon they didn't end up meeting until 100 pages into the book and i also understand because the first book in the series tends to be a little slow especially when they're trying to set the scene set the world that is taking place and this book takes place super in the future. I think they had like four world wars at this point and the United States is no longer a thing. It's called something completely different. I really like that setup. I really like that it takes place in the future and that things are different from what I know them to be now. But uh, again, it was a little slow. I, I was expecting them to meet right away and when they didn't, I was like, okay, when are they going to meet? At the end of the book. But once they met, I absolutely loved all their scenes together. I feel like they did have a lot of interaction in this book but when they did I was obsessed and I loved it. I'm actually really curious to see what happens in the second book. The second book should take place immediately after this one ends. At least that's what I'm assuming is going to happen and it's going to follow the competition maybe till the end. Okay the next book that I am waiting to get delivered is The Hating Game. Let me just 
pull it up so I can see. I actually watched the movie The Hating Game for the first time a few weeks ago. I was under the impression that I watched the movie months ago, but then when I saw it on Hulu, I decided to watch it again. But as I started watching it, I was like, wait, I don't remember any of this. So I think I just watched the trailer and assumed I watched it. I don't know. Lucy Hale does a lot of romance movies that I end up watching. Maybe I confused The Hating Game with one of her other movies, but I actually really enjoyed The Hating Game, the movie. Although I did feel like the male character really didn't deliver his scenes for me like I wanted him to deliver them. I didn't feel like that chemistry between the two main characters. Maybe that's just me, but I still enjoyed it. I still thought it was a pretty cute movie. The book basically follows the main character, Lucy Hunton. It's basically a workplace romance. She thinks that she absolutely hates her co-worker and they end up going for the same promotion. So they have to work against each other, but then they end up developing feelings for one another. And I'm really excited to read the book. Like I said, I enjoyed the movie. I didn't think it was anything spectacular but I still thought it was cute so I can only imagine that the book is going to be even cuter and it's going to be even better than the movies. It is by Sally Thorne which if I'm not mistaken I think that this book is her debut novel. It has a lot of good ratings on Goodread so really excited to dive into this book and find out what happens. Well actually I already know what happens because I watched the movie but I'm excited to get the full story. You know, the final book that I want to read for the month of May is Watch Her Disappear by Lisa Reagan. This is the 14th Josie Quinn book book. If you have been watching my book content for a hot minute, you must know that I absolutely love the Detective Josie Quinn series. I typically read her books on my phone. I have them all on my Kindle app. I actually bought this book and it follows Josie Quinn and she's investigating the murder of a young girl who died on prom night. And if I know anything about Lisa Reagan's books, is that this book is definitely going to throw me in for a twist. If you like murder, mystery, three detective type books definitely check out the Josie Quinn series I absolutely fell in love with this series it is so addicting I absolutely love all the characters in the series specifically Josie and Noah love them so much I could definitely read a romance novel just featuring Josie and Noah but I already know I'm going to love this book I really have no complaints about the other books in the series some of them are a little slower than others but I still really enjoy them and I'm quite sad because I don't know if she's going to continue making any more books in the series this book came out in April of this year and I haven't read if she's going to make a 15th book I mean 14 books is a lot of books for one series. But yeah, those are pretty much all the books that I plan to read for the month of May. The verdict is still out on whether or not I will actually read all of these books. You guys will see at the end of the month during my May wrap up video if I actually end up reading all of these books. And of course, I'll share my thoughts, opinions, reviews, all of that good stuff in my monthly wrap up video at the end of May. Let me know in the comments below what books are currently on your TV Regardless, have you read any of the books that I mentioned in today's video? I would love to know. But that's pretty much it for today's video. Really hope you guys enjoyed watching. If you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. I would love to have you a part of my little community here on YouTube. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.